Scott Byerly. What would it mean to him if he actually won this event? It means that uh, all my work paid off. I mean, that's what I'm here for, to win. I haven't won yet, and this is where I plan on winning. His opportunity is on the water right now as we're set for the Pro Division, brought to you by Freestyle USA. He has talked the talk. Can he walk the walk, Tony Finn? Not only can he walk the walk, I think he can wakeboard the wakeboard, Dan. <laughs> I mean, Scott Barley is so focused. He's been practicing his runs for a long time, and he really feels like he could win today. Here he comes into the wake, switch stance, and does a switch stance roll. That's a new trick, carving hard backside. Look at that. Oh, a Mobius. Scott Barley nails it. 9,973 points. That is an awesome first run. Yeah, that is the way to get the jitters out, if you will. Turn the crowd on and get your points pumped up. Here comes a Mobius. A little bit late on the hand pass, but he hangs on. So an excellent opening run for Scott Byerly. This is pass number two, and he starts hard into the wake and gets some big air. That was a front side crip, followed by a roll to revert. Scott Byerly looks so relaxed and so smooth. He's not letting the stress or the tension of the world championships affect him at all. Whoa, that was a slob front flip. Coming into the wake, switch stance. A switch oh, he grabs stance, it. Mobius. A he hung on. Stance, Mobius. A switch stance, Mobius. I've never seen that before in competition. And that is a brand new world record. And well deserved at that, Tony Finn. As we take a look in slow motion, he hangs on. He has the emotion. And he knows at that point, more than likely, that he has the world record. Woo! All right, Scott, man, that was the best I've ever seen you do. Two mobs. How do you feel? Oh, I'm so stoked, Tony. Uh, I was rough out there, but my, my 69 took me to victory, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel doing those mobs? It looked a little bit sketchy, but you pulled through. Uh, I was just wanting to stay on my run. Uh, that's all I had on my mind. Well, I stuck it. Stoked. Well, Scott Byerly is obviously the man to catch right now, and trying to do that is Dean LaBelle, and if there is a man that can get some big-time air, it's Dean. Hey, we don't call clean Dean for nothing, although that wasn't that clean of a trick, but I'll tell you the thing about Dean LaBelle. He does so many things well, not only wakeboard, but air chair, barefoot, everything. He's what we call the 10 eventer. That was a nice air front flip for Dean LaBelle. Dean, oh, oh, down right there on a front side front flip. Looks like he over rotated slightly. And I'll tell you, one fall, the way Scott's run was, you are not going to win today. Yeah, keep in mind here that these skiers, these competitors, are not wakeboarding in fresh water, not totally smooth like they're used to maybe at their practice sites. This is the ocean, folks. Yeah, I mean, the conditions are going to have an effect on the riders, but the best riders can wakeboard in every type of condition, and that's what Scott did. We'll see how Dean does as he comes into the wake, backside for a back-to-front roll, and that's it for Dean LaBelle, a great second pass. But not enough to catch our leader, Scott Byerly, standing by with Dean is Tony Finn. Indeed, and here is a look at the pro wannabes, if you will, Parks Bonifay. The boys' division, that is 12 and younger, and take a look at what he did earlier in the day. No, Parks Bonifay, look at him, coming in the way backside, look at that grab by Parks Bonifay. You know what the thing about Parks is? He can beat some pros. I'm not kidding, he's only 12 years old, but he's a tough competitor. That's his mom, his mom and dad are extremely supportive of him, comes from a terrific water sports family, and Parks Bonifay has a future in this sport. You know, by the looks of that camera, his mom may have a future as a videographer as well. Parks Bonifay, 11,808 points. That is impressive, and I think we'll see him in the future. I mean, with tricks like that, look at this. Carves hard into the wake. Beautiful backside roll. Perfect form for Parks Bonifay. Then a 540. That's a tough trick, but he does it all. From Mexico, 15 years old, skied away with the championship. Here's a look at that winning run. Look at the air that Roberto gets. You know, before the competition started, everybody was going, Mexican guys coming here to compete against Americans? And people were poo-pooing it, basically, Dan. But this kid came out and went off. Beautiful form on that backside roll. Carves hard into the wake right there. A lot of style and an air roll. That is a tough trick. Look at that, 13,000. 175 points, he went huge. Cut out, and so does this man right now as we get back to the men's pro division. This is Eric Gator Lutgert.
Well, Gator's teammate really set the standard today. Boy, oh boy, a roast beef tantrum way, way out in the flats. Gator knows he has to go big because Scott Byerly did, and Gator wants to win just as bad as Scott. He's also been focused. Look at how he grabs that board and pokes out that landing. Now, Gator goes into a half cab roll. I mean, Gator and Scott Barley are both going off today. A Mobius and just run. Eric Lecker, 9,950 points. Gator was just a rookie on the tour this year, and as a result, I think his nerves got to him a lot, Tony. He was very inconsistent. We didn't see him in the finals hardly ever. You're right, Gator was extremely inconsistent during the season, but look how focused he is on that Mobius, and his experience is showing through. Well, he had a terrific first run, Tony, but he's really going to have to go OFF if he wants to try and catch Scott Byerly. 25 seconds and counting for Eric Lutger. And that was a huge front flip to start the run. Now, Gator's girlfriend is looking on, and she wants him to win just as bad as he does. Gator's looking big here. I don't know if he has enough tricks to beat Scott. Nice crip right there. Gator, five seconds left. And a grab roll to Revert. He makes it. That's a clean pass for Eric Gator Lutger. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay once again then and take a look at this front flip. Huge air and gets way out. Our attention back to the pros. This is Jeremy Kobach, who was our final competitor out on the water. Can he catch Scott Byerly? He was second place on the regular pro tour. And if anybody has a chance, he does, Tony Finn. He's big, he's strong, and he is aggressive. He's very aggressive, and that should help him today in the slightly bumpy conditions. But he has to pull out tricks that he's never done before. And when I talked to him this morning, he said, you know, he made his run a little bit mellow because he was a little bit worried about the rough water. But let's see what happens here. One more trick. There it is, an air mobius, a beautiful trick for Jeremy Kovac. That's a very difficult trick, and that gives him a chance to possibly get a victory. Beautiful air mobius right there. Nice hand pass, does it clean. You know, Tony, these guys are doing remarkably well, and I think part of that is because they've actually had some time off from that regular tour. You know, you're right about that, Dan. I mean, Jeremy Kovac goes back, does a little trick skiing, does a little snowboarding, does a little slalom skiing, relaxes a little bit, then comes in here and has to go huge. Nice front flip for Jeremy Kovac. Jeremy looking big out there. Only 10 seconds left. He's got one more trick left. Let's see if he can pull it off. An air roll to revert, that's not going to be enough for Jeremy. I think he's resigned himself to the fact that he either has second or third place, depending on the points, and that is good. CDU presented the pro division, and this is Jeff here. The thing about the CDU is that even though the wake is a little bit smaller than a boat, you can still have a great time right behind it. Now look at Jeff here. Boom! Roll the revert off that CDU wake, and then back carving into the wake, a tantrum. Jeff here is the winner of the Sea Dew Pro Expression Session. And what about the open division where you just get big, you get wild, and you get crazy? Take a look. This is behind the Mastercraft, and these people go huge. This is my favorite event because it's just all about going out there, wakeboarding, and having a good time. And nobody personified that better than this guy. Insane Zane Schwenk loses his board and goes barefoot. Zane is the man. The most original run goes to Insane Zane. <laughs> but the winner of it all, Gator, picks up 750 bucks from Freestyle because he went what? O-F-F. -F. <laughs> hey, for Tony Finn, I'm Dan Debenham. We hope you enjoyed a look at these world championships from the Florida Keys. We'll see you next time, everybody.